Kamala Harris has Bruce Springsteen and Beyonce. Donald Trump has Kid Rock and Hulk Hogan. As the 2024 campaign whirls into its final week, Democrats are noticeably leaning on their star power advantage, calling on a diverse range of celebrities to endorse Harris, invigorate audiences and, they hope, spur people to the ballot box. Democrats long have long enjoyed a celebrity advantage and used it to close out presidential campaigns when attention and energy are critical. That upper hand has grown during Trump's rise, a period that saw scores of celebrities, even apolitical stars, break their silence and speak out against the Republican leader. The advantage often means raucous, fiery events in the closing days of a race, but history, named Hillary Clinton's 2016 campaign, highlights how the energy at those events can sometimes paper over broader issues with a candidate. Recently in Atlanta, Harris and former President Barack Obama headlined a rally that featured a performance by Springsteen and a speech by filmmaker Tyler Perry. And singer-songwriter Maggie Rogers performed a five-song set at a Harris Tim Walls rally in Ann Arbor, Michigan, on Monday. I come for Harris, said Ashley Oberhide, a neighborhood resident who attended the outdoor rally held in Burns Park. I love that musical acts are getting behind her, but I am always here for Harris. Audrey Hudson, a University of Michigan nursing student who voted for the first time days before the rally, described her attendance as, doing my civic duty combined with a concert of an artist I love. People have such a personal connection to musicians and the music they make. Especially artists like Taylor Swift, Maggie Rogers, Gracie Abrams, Sabrina Carpenter, Hudson said. When they have that personality in their music, it really makes them more relatable to young people. 29-year-old and Arbor resident Rachel Lieberman shared that the rally was her third Harris event and that Rogers was a cherry on top. I'm here to see Harris and Walls do their thing, she said. Many of the events are part of Harris's, When We Vote We Win, concert series that aims to spur supporters to vote early in key battlegrounds. And she is expected to have more high-profile endorsers in the coming days. Trump also enjoys the support of celebrities with a deep appeal to his core base of voters. But the Republican candidate largely doesn't have an answer for Harris's celebrity-infused events. Trump, whose career has turned him into a celebrity, often provides the star power at his events. And how about the incredible Maggie Rogers? Maggie Rogers says vote, people. Trick, trick. Where's trick, trick? Trick, trick. Come here, trick, trick. Honestly, she's the cherry on top. I'm here to see Harris and Waltz do their thing. This is my third rally that I've been to, but I am super excited that we get to see Maggie Rogers play too. I come for Harris. I love that musical acts are getting behind her, but I am always here for Harris. So being able to be here and see her, it's kind of like, you know, doing my civic duty combined with a concert of an artist I love. Kamala Harris promised Tuesday to put country above party and above self in the closing argument of her presidential campaign, delivering her message from the same site where Donald Trump fomented the Capitol insurrection, to emphasize the sharp choice voters face. One week out from Election Day, the vice president used the address from the grassy ellipse near the White House to pledge to Americans that she would work to improve their lives while arguing that her Republican opponent is only in it for himself. Unlike Donald Trump, I don't believe people who disagree with me are the enemy, Harris said. He wants to put them in jail. I'll give them a seat at my table. And I pledge to be a president for all Americans. To always put country above party and above self. The vice president also pledged to restore the abortion rights that were overturned by the Supreme Court in 2022. I will fight to restore what Donald Trump and his hand-selected Supreme Court justice took away from the women of America, Harris said. The Supreme Court, with three Trump appointees justices, overturned federal protections of abortion in 2022. 
Abortion has since become one of the most motivating issues for the Democratic base in the 2024 election. But I know that many of you are still getting to know who I am. America, we know what Donald Trump has in mind. More chaos, more division, and policies that help those at the very top and hurt everyone else. I offer a different path. And I ask for your vote. And here is my pledge to you. I pledge to seek common ground and common sense solutions to make your life better. I am not looking to score political points. I am looking to make progress. I pledge to listen to experts, to those who will be impacted by the decisions I make, and to people who disagree with me. Unlike Donald Trump, I don't believe people who disagree with me are the enemy. He wants to put them in jail. I'll give them a seat at the table. I pledge to you to approach my work with the joy and optimism that comes from making a difference in people's lives. And I pledge to be a president for all Americans. And to always put country above party and self. And I believe in the fundamental freedom of Americans to make decisions about their own bodies and not have their government tell them what to do. I will fight to restore what Donald Trump and his hand-selected Supreme Court justices took away from the women of America. women in America, think about it. And look, I think we all know, one does not have to abandon their faith or deeply held beliefs to simply agree the government should not be telling her what to do with her body. Not the government. And when Congress passes a bill to restore reproductive freedom nationwide, as President of the United States, I will proudly sign it into law. Proudly. I will strengthen, not surrender, America's global leadership. And I will stand with our friends because I know that our alliances keep American people safe and make America stronger and more secure. Look, world leaders think that Donald Trump is an easy mark, easy to manipulate with flattery or favor. And you can believe that autocrats like Putin and Kim Jong-un are rooting for him in this election. I will always uphold our security, advance our national interest, and ensure that the United States of America remains as we must forever be a champion of liberty around the world. Yeah.